All right, so now we set everything up to start selecting our footage to import it to the timeline. So remember, we created a folder footage and we created a YouTube folder. So in here is my YouTube video. And I want to grab this and put it in the timeline. So I can do this in a few different ways. So let's say I want to start right up here. I want to create an endpoint. I want to let DaVinci know that from this moment on, I want to import my video to the timeline. So I hit E on my keyboard. Let's say the YouTube video takes all the way to here. And I want to end my video right here. So DaVinci Resolve, you need to know that right here, this video will end. So I mark it as an out point. So I hit O on my keyboard. And that way you have an end point and an out point. So now if I grab this clip and I put it to the timeline, you see I imported my clip to the timeline. But there is another way to do it. Let's say that you only want to import your video clip to the timeline. You grab this icon and put it to the timeline. This blue thing is only the video clip. And if you decide only to grab the audio clip, you can select this icon and pull it to the audio track. So now you imported a separate video file and a separate audio file. So let's say you want to connect these clips together again. How to do this? You're gonna select both of the files, click on your right and select link clips. So now you're gonna tell DaVinci he needs to link these two clips. If I click on the blue file, you will see that it also selects the video clip. So they are all together now. If you want to unlink them and you want to separate them, just select them again and click on link clips again. And now you have separate files. But in this case, I want to link them. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the folder Chicago because I want to import some other footage over my YouTube video. And you see when I hover with my mouse over the video, you see that I see these parts that I shot. But if I go back with my mouse to my timeline, I see the YouTube video again. Now I want to see the YouTube video and I want to see the video that I'm going to select. And that's very simple because you need to go all the way up here and you want to click on dual viewer mode. And now if you click and go over on this file, you see the left viewer mode is for your selections and the right is your timeline. You can also see that up here. This is your timeline. Remember that we created also a timeline DaVinci Resolve. So if we click on that, we go to our DaVinci Resolve timeline. And now we want to go back to our YouTube video timeline. And right up here in the left corner is the footage of our selections. So now we're back in our YouTube video timeline. And in this timeline, there is some really important feature. And this is a feature I use all the time. It's called the zoom in, zoom out feature. Here, if you drag this line to the right, you zoom all the way into your timeline. If you drag it all the way to the left, you zoom all the way out of your timeline. So if you have a big project, this can be really helpful to zoom out and to zoom in again. You also see on a timeline that you can drag this line all the way up and all the way down. You can do exactly the same for your audio file. You can drag it all the way out and you can zoom all the way in. So you can see really specific the waveforms of your audio clips. So zoom out and make it smaller again. So let's go and select some cool clips. Right up here, I make an endpoint. Hit your space bar on your keyboard to hit the play button. Hit it again to pause. Then make an out point 
and grab only the video part and put it somewhere above my YouTube video. So now this process will take a while because you need to look every single frame, make an in point, out point, and grab the video and put it somewhere here. Make an in point, boom, make an out point, and then put it somewhere above your YouTube video. 